we got some express news. So, very interesting to dig. We just uploaded a game plan the Beyblade Burst Turbo app that was a collab with Cypress. And then after I see someone comment, and I see this video by the Boring Blader actually showing off Shining Amaterios A3. So before we continue, before we continue, this channel right here, I want you to subscribe to it because without this individual, we would not have the news that we actually are able to show in this video. So subscribe to him. I want to see him at least get past like 500 subscribers, share him some love and like his videos, please. And you know, comment on one of his videos saying that we sent you. So I don't know how, but he was able to get it. Now, this is not something that is out of the norm. Now, at least with Hasbro, it's out of the norm. But for TT, we have seen this before where some people are able to find the actual or some people are able to actually get the early release of the base. So this is Amaterios A3 from the Boring Blader. Yeah, we're going to we're going to jump into it. We're going to jump into it. So very interesting how Hasbro released uh, this Amaterios since this Amaterios, as far as I know, is not in the anime, but it is a rare bay uh, gets battle bay. So in terms of accuracy, it's pretty much all there. So there is no metal on that one. And he was a little bit confused, obviously because he probably didn't know too much about Hasbro. With these turbo bays, there's no metal on them. He did say it keeps the same gimmick. And something that I do like for Hasbro is that that materials, the TT version of it anyways, is super hard to get. So if Hasbro does a release on this, that's kind of good for the Hasbro side, even if it doesn't have metal. I like that, that looks really cool. So, the bay looks amazing. We have some other screenshots of him showing off the other parts, like uh, arrow and angle. That's anchor, which, yeah, there's no uh, there's no complaints. Uh, you also did think there was the slingshot ability on this one, but as far as I know, there isn't that we saw previously and there isn't on the actual product itself. Yeah, for this prize bay, it was a little bit weird because you would think that Hasbro would slingshot it, uh, slingshot it up, shock it up, but uh, they didn't, which uh, I'm all right with, I, I'll, I'll take that. So he shows off the other parts like uh, the frame, which I believe is angle. I always mix up the two with the disc in the frame. Then after he shows that uh, arrow, which is uh, the disc, which is the next one. So off memory, the only real difference between that and the TT version would be just the disc isn't painted, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, you know, regardless, it's a GD to, uh, GG to Hasbro. So we do have another screenshot. It should be, yeah. So we did a battle between Amaterios and Shiny Amaterios, the, uh, the Nintendo Switch one. That's what I'm holding right here. So you can check out his channel, see the full battle on that. This, again, I think has really did a good job with that bay. Like, okay, no metal, but like everything else about this bay is like 100% accurate. Almost 100% minus slopes, obviously. But uh, yeah, there's a battle. Small screenshot, I'm not gonna show the whole battle. You check out his channel for that, subscribe to the Boring Blader. And next up, he actually was able to show the QR code. So I put his name there and everything. So this was not because of us. This was because of him. Now, when you scan that QR code, I want to make sure they go onto YouTube. You go to Boring Blader, which will be in the description anyways. You go to his channel and subscribe to him and share his channel some love. So we did actually show off game plan on Materios before, but it was through the actual, because the store actually updated with Amaterios. So this time, we're able to actually scan it and show the bay off, so we're going to be doing that now. So here we have our app open, and uh, we're going we're gonna to scan the code. So what i got to do first is actually get the graphic to do so. Oh, I already have it scanned, actually. Well, the graphic's right there for you to scan it for yourself, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get this open on my app. I forgot, because I already have the thing. So, Amaterios A3 is very interesting because they're also doing Orichalcum O3. And what I was thinking was, well, why would they do that? Yeah, here it is, and Amaterios is there too. So here's Orichalcum O3. It's Outer and Octa. Now, I hope, hope Octa has the metal on that, but that's for another story unless we actually, and maybe he'll actually get Orichalcum, I don't know. You know, well, I'm gonna make sure I click that bell on Boring Blader's channel. So this is Amaterios. So the interesting thing about this is, 
Now you can tell for a lot of stuff in the app when it's early in development because the product that he had, this just wasn't a hazard product, it had the slopes and everything. The angle frame did not, it was not silver, it was red. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's do some gameplay on this. So yeah, it's funny because we just did a cloth with Cyprus showing off Typhoon T4. And you know, I did say before, if it ever happens where there's a physical product, then we'll do a video on it and we'll share off the code. But again, shout out to Boring Blader. I'm gonna keep on saying that because there are a lot of times where like people do the video and like they don't tell you actually it was the one, the actual reason for that code being out there. So again, Boring Blader is not gonna be anything where it's like, oh, I found the code or anything like that. But like I said, if you want to check out me in Cyprus, in the case for if you want to see future gameplays, feel free to check out the videos that we have. Now, yeah, this is a, this is like a win-win for everyone, I guess. It's like a it's like a gift, I guess. People wanted a turbo QR code. You can not material us now. But the thing is, you could kind of get materials, but not really through the store. But for those who don't want to grind up all the points and wait and wait and wait, this is your chance to actually scan it. So we do have, I think this is the Friday, so we have one more video that should be coming out today. Only one more, not a news video or anything like that. If it is, I'll push the video to another day. But uh, it's, a, it's a special video, it's a special video. Just uh, stay tuned for it. It's something I already posted in the community tab as a teaser, and uh, no, it's not uh, the, uh, the discussion video I was talking about uh, before. So the thing is, with Amaterasu, I don't think there was any way Hasbro could really screw it up. And the same thing with Ori Calcum. The only thing that's kind of weird is if they remove the metal on this stuff. A yeah, giant ninja blade. I don't... Th I'm just worried about Oracle Camo 3 in all honesty, because I don't know if they're going to keep Octa the same. And if they don't, then that's a, it's a big old, it's a big old RIP. You're embarrassing me. Alright, I'm going to do one more battle. Do maybe it against uh, Wonder Valtriac. We lost that round. Alright, let's, uh, let's try it again, round four. Oh, if I can beat him first, then, you know. Also, since my winter break just started, happy holidays to everyone! I'm gonna enjoy this winter break. I have a lot more time to work on stuff. I think I made a tweet on my Twitter just talking about a lot of stuff that we have planned. But... Right now, I just destroyed Achilles. Hey, you know, yeah, you know what I wanna do? I'll, I'll make sure to do this. We're gonna do the mod that everyone did since, like, day one. Which was that uh, Ninja Star mod, and then after everyone else basically did this exact same thing. We'll do that for Amaterra, since the Avatar attack is basically just a blade. Custom opponents. Let's try to see Wonder Valtriac. So, a little surprised the app's not updating yet. Oh, Bell on the D4. That's related, I guess. So, I do have a little bit of confusion. Now I'm thinking that they maybe just did it just because they wanted to do it like the old Gen Beyblades just wanted to give it probably because there's a lot of demand for it. It's either that or you know what I mean like why else would they do it? The anime? Like with Ori Calcum gonna appear in the anime and Amaterios? Well Amaterios maybe because it has a level chip but I don't think Ori Calcum would. That's why I'm saying it's it's most likely just to give back to the it's hard to get back to the fans, I guess. For a lot of the demand for these uh, old rare Beyblades. I mean, even if even if uh, or Calcum's uh, Oct is kind of useless, we still get Outer, and Outer's pretty good. And Aegis is a Bey that also has Outer in them. And because they did or Calcum, we can assume they're probably going to do the same with Aegis. I'm just a little bit worried since Aegis is an anime Beyblade if they're actually going to do the right stock for it. No, so I was gonna battle against Valkyrie, guess not. Man, I love the Avatar Jack on Amaterius. Look at that, it's like a little blade and boom, it hits it. Oh, Slingshot, what? But I don't have that ability, do I? Yeah, Amaterius doesn't have a Slingshot ability. 
I'm about to get hit by this, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, it's a draw, but I'll probably end it off like that. So, let's just do this. So, this was all thanks once again to the Boring Blader. Please subscribe to his channel and check him out. So, basically, this is like an express news, but it's sort of like another gameplay on the thing. I didn't want to do a, like, a, like a full 10 minutes since we already showcased it before, but you get the code and everything. It's thanks to him. Please, let's get him past 500 subscribers. You want to know what? That's not. Let's get him past 1,000 subscribers. I'll make sure I put that in the description. I'll make a pinned comment saying subscribe to the Boring Blader. But that's it for now. So now that we've seen a video on our material, so you can see his full video trying to cover it. It's not uh, crazy in depth, but it gives us a really good idea of how the bay is. You can tell me your thoughts on the actual bay itself. I think it's a good job on Hasbro's parts. Like, other than like a few minor details, like very, very small, like the usual stuff we know with Turbo. It's good. But for now, click that bell to notify for uploads and stay tuned for later today. And, 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 unless, unless you need some unboxes like the next like 10 waves of Turbo, but that's it for now. No more news videos for now. Stay tuned and have an awesome day.